for what integer value or values of n will 81n plus 21 all over 7n minus 4 be an integer? Now pause this video right now and see if you can answer this question because I will show you the solution in 3, 2, 1. Alright, the question in this video is for what integer value or values of n will this expression 81n plus 21 all over 7n minus 4 be also an integer? Now, let's take our expression. So 81n plus 21 all over 7n minus 4. This is an integer. So what we're going to do is to let this expression to be equal to another variable. And let's call this as p. Now, since this is an integer, therefore, we can say that p is also an integer. All right. Now, let's set aside this result and let's focus on this equation. Now, notice 81 is not divisible by 7. So, the technique here is to multiply both sides by 7. So, we have here 7p equals 7 times 81 is 567n. And 7 times 21 is 147. Now, let's focus on this because the numerator of this fraction, we can rewrite this in this format. 81 multiplied by 7n minus 4 plus 471. Now, why is that? Because 81 times 7n minus 4, this is 567n minus 324. So, if we add 471, on the numerator, we go back to this expression, 567n plus 147. All right. So now, let's focus on this result. And what we're going to do is to apply the concept of similar fraction. So we can rewrite the right-hand side as 81 plus 471 all over 7n minus 4. Now, technically speaking, 81 is an integer for sure. And 7 times p is also an integer. Therefore, to make this an integer, we need this expression, 741 over 7n minus 4 to be an integer. And to make this expression be an integer, 7n minus 4 must be a factor of 471. And the question is, what are the factors of 471? 471 is just 3 times 157. So we only have few values for 7n minus 4. So we have 7n minus 4 be equal to 1 because 1 is a factor of 471 for sure. And also, 7n minus 4 can be equal to 3, 157, or itself, 471. Of course, p is an integer and this expression is an integer also. Therefore, we need to include negative factors of 471 like this. Now from here, given the first equation, 7n minus 4 equals 1. If we add 4 on both sides, we have 7n equals 5. And using that equation, we don't have any integer value for n. So this is not accepted. Similarly, in this equation, 7n minus 4 plus minus equals negative 1. If we add 4 on both sides, we have 7n equals 3. And if we divide both sides by 7, you don't get an integer value for n. And we do similar reasoning to this for equation and to this last equation. But in this equation, 7 and minus 4 equals 3. If you add 4 on both sides, we have 7 and equals 7. And 7 is a multiple of 7 for sure. And on this equation, 7 and minus 4 equals 157. Add 4 on both sides, 157 plus 4 is 161. And 161 is divisible by 7 because 161 is 140 plus 21. So, let's focus on these two remaining equations and let's solve for the value of n. In the first equation, we have 7n equals 7, so n equals 1. On the second equation, 7n minus 4 equals 157. So, add 4 on both sides, 7n equals 161. Divide both sides by 7, n equals 23. Therefore, we found two possible values for n, but let's check if those values are technically correct. 
So let's replace all n with 1. So 81 times 1 plus 21 all over 7 times 1 minus 4. And the numerator is just 102 over the denominator 3. 102 divided by 3, this will give us 34. 34 is an integer. So n equals 1 is a solution to this question. Now how about 23? Replace all n with 23. You have 81 times 23 plus 21 over 7 times 23 minus 4. The numerator is just 1,884 and the denominator is 157. And if we divide this, we get 12. And 12 is an integer. Therefore, for what integer values of n will this expression 81n plus 21 over 7n minus 4 be an integer? Then our answer are n equals 1 or n equals 93. And as always, we are done.